Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how to properly format zip codes or postal codes. Clients will call me up in a panic just before they send out a direct mail piece. They look at the labels and they find out that some or a great number of the labels only have four digits in their zip code field. For the United States, the post office requires five digits. Now, you recall from our last lesson that when we have control over our data, we recommend that you go through and pre-format that column or that field to select the number tab, the special category, and the zip code. Now, I'm using the United States zip code format. You could pick your language, pick your country. The principles in this lesson will apply. So this means that any any entry with a leading 0, 0, 3, 2, 1, 4, I have the leading 0. If I'm using an unformatted or Excel's default general format, that same entry, 0, 3, 2, 1, 4, I'm missing that leading 0. Well, we don't always have control over our data, as this worksheet will demonstrate. Here, I've gone out to a mainframe computer, and I have done a query and inserted or imported a number of customer zip codes. And we can see the offending four-digit zip code and then the correct five-digit zip codes. Now, this is going to be a multi-step process. My first step will be to create a formula equals a leading zero and the ampersand. I'm going to be adding a leading zero on to cell A2. And there you have it. So if I copy it down, all of my four digits are now five digits. But we have to be careful, especially when we're dealing with hundreds of thousands of names for a label, that we don't create an additional problem of now making a six-digit character. That's equally bad. So. What we have to do is we have to, before we do the equals leading zero ampersand A2, we have to actually create an if function or use an if function, a logical function in here. So let me just delete the contents here and let's create the formula equals if and opening left parentheses. I used the control A shortcut to bring up the function arguments. Three arguments are required. A logical test, a value of true, in other words, if it passes the test, and a value if false. The test says check whether a condition is met and return one value if true, if it passes, another value if it fails or it's false. So our logical test will be if cell A2 is less than, and what's the highest possible four digit character? 9999. The value if true will be our leading zero, ampersand, and cell A2. The value of false, meaning that it's five digits already, will just be cell A2. Click OK, and there we have it. Copying this all the way down, Ooh, there we have another problem. So you see that while we used our if uh, function and the adding the leading zero, those entries are formatted as text. They're aligned to the left of the cell. And if it didn't have to meet, in other words, it failed the logical test, they remain as numerical entries. Well, of course, these are still functions. So we have to return these as values. Let's just select everything here and we'll say copy and we will pay special to return the result of that formula. Okay, now let's select the cells here and we want to use Excel's text to column wizard. So while these are selected, we'll come up here to data and we'll select the text to columns wizard. What we'll choose is we want to say that our data is of a fixed width. They're all five characters. And follow the wizard. Here's a preview of our data. You see the leading zeros and those that don't require it. Here's the big step. Here's the gotcha. Over here, make sure that we choose the column data format to be text and then we finish it and there you go we've solved it so we use the text to column wizard we use the if logical function and nested in there our uh, criteria that we changed the four digit to five digit was we had a leading zero ampersand and the contents of the cell i know that's going to save you time and money and we'll see you in the next tips and time savers